Hey, what's up? Welcome back. We're playing around with email again. Today, we're going to try to build out a receiver for email address uh, using Action Mailbox. It's a pretty new feature of Rails. And in the last episode, we built out a tool where we could send emails from a comment dash and then the ID of the comment. And in this episode, we're going to uh, do the other side of that where we're going to respond or we're gonna like simulate replying to those comment uh, email notifications and use the content of the response email as the uh, you know the body that might be added directly to the reply here. So right now what we've got going on is if we reply to a comment, we can say like you know, hey this is my reply, and if we click submit, that sends an email. This is what the email looks like. We're using letter opener to sort of simulate that email actually sending. And we can see the, um, the ID of the comment that was just added. And now what we want to do is make it so that we can reply to this email and have that reply show up on, um, on the, uh, as a reply to that thread. So here it would just show down here like, hey, this is my reply. And then under that, it would be our response from the email that we received. So uh, Action Mailbox, super cool, pretty new, um, pretty new feature for Rails. This was like part of the thing that they used to build out Hey. Um, and so, yeah, let's get started. We're going to say Rails Action Mailbox install. This is going to install actually a couple different things. So uh, first, it's going to install um, a, uh, a new Action Mailbox class for us in this new directory, Mailboxes. It's also going to copy some migrations over for the Action Mailbox stuff. But Action Mailbox depends on active storage, so it's also giving us some active storage migrations. So let's just run those. We'll say Rails DB migrate. Cool, so now that we have migrated our database, we can generate a new mailbox. We can say Rails G mailbox comments. Okay, so um, the way that this works is um, the, each mailbox is sort of like its own controller for handling certain types of messages. So we can sort of think of this as like a comments controller um, for content or posts that are received through the, through the email system. So let's, let's open this up and take a look at what we've got. So it is a class that inherits from application mailbox. So let's look at application mailbox, application mailbox. And application mailbox here has a, a comment about routing. So the application mailbox routing feature is sort of like routes. So we have routes.rb and those routes end up, um, you know, directing requ inbound HTTP requests from the browser to certain controllers. Well, application mailbox is responsible for routing emails that are coming in to specific mailboxes. So what we do here is we route based on the in, the the um, the from email address base or the I'm sorry the to email address. So in our case, we've got this email address that's coming in comment dash thirty four at reply.example.com. Um, and so what we want to do is we want to write a regular expression for uh, for checking to see if the inbound email address matches this. And so instead of thirty four here, I'm going to use a, a digit. So I'm just going to say, as long as we receive something with uh, comment dash D plus, then we want to route it to our comments mailbox so that this comments key here matches the name of our mailbox over here. Okay, cool. Now inside of process, we have access to this thing called mail, which is has like a to, it has a from, it has a decoded body, it has a bunch of other stuff. This is actually an object from the mail gem. So there's a bunch of stuff about reading email address here, email, email addresses here. Um, and so what we want to do is we want to, uh, well, okay. So yeah, so let's talk about all the different pieces that we need. So in order to make a comment, we need to know, we need to know the user. We need to know the original comment that this new email address is in reply to. Um, and we need to know what else do we need to know. Um, I think that's it. So let's find let's find the user. So the user we should be able to look up based on the from address that's on the mail object. So um, this should be like at user is equal to user dot find by email, and that's going to be mail dot from. And we also need to know the comment. And so we're going to say like at comment or equals comment dot find comment ID. And we need to look up the comment or we need to like figure out the comment ID based on this um, sort of regular expression here. And when we're receiving this email message, 
we are going to be one of the uh, email addresses in the to field, right? So like, um, I think mail dot to, um, this just shows a string. Uh, hmm. So yeah, so here, So when we're receiving the email, the two, like the two address could technically be multiple different addresses, I think. So what we want to see here is, okay, so this one is to a specific email address. Um, all right, so let's, let's just go, uh, so mail.to.match, actually let's, let's add a, uh, let's add a breakpoint in here. And we also want to like just kill the mailbox processing if either the comment or the user doesn't exist. But before we do that, um, I'm going to just drop in by bug here so that we can take a look at the processes that are inbound. Um, I think we might need to restart the Rails server. And then there is a special route that you can go to. So um, on the action mailbox page here, um, if you go down to number six, working with action mailbox in development, it gives you this route that you can copy and it's added to your routes file for you. And there's a bunch of tools in here for messing around with inbound emails. So we can say new inbound email by form. And this allows us to just create an email in this editor. And that will sort of deliver it as if we had received the email address. So, or um, received the email. So here, let's say this is coming um, from um, wave at cjab.dev. And it's gonna go to comment 33 at example. The, the, the two doesn't really matter, or like the, uh, the actual domain doesn't really matter right now, but what we care about is this format here. So like if we, if, in fact, like let's just look real quick at like blah, if we just send it with blah, right, then uh, it's not gonna match any of, our, um, any of our routing. So blah doesn't match comment dash some digit. So when we refresh this, it's gonna go from pending to failed or bounced or whatever, because it doesn't actually have a route. So now this shows as bounced. So if we go back to all inbound email, we create a new email and we say that it's coming from that and it's going to comment, let's do 33 and we're gonna say this is our um, test body, test, um, test email body. Okay, and then we say deliver inbound email. Now it says processing and this should technically hit our, um, match our, our routing here and then enter our process and break on buy bug and it has, so here in the server log, I can start messing around. So if I say mail.2, okay, so mail.2 gives me an array of strings, mail.from, okay, that's also an array. Um, if I say mail. Uh, so we, what we wanna do is try to figure out how to pull out 33 here. So mail.2.find something that matches um, m.match like comment dash, uh, something like that. So that should give us back just the string for the matching email address. So that's going to be our to address. And then we'll want to use that to somehow pull out the actual comment ID. So um, comment ID is equal to, so uh, we want to use um, some sort of regular expression to pull this out. So I think if we do like two dot match, and then we say comment Instead of using just like a normal regular expression here, I'm gonna use a capture group. So we're gonna, we're gonna use parentheses to do our capture group and we can make it case insensitive. And inside of our capture group, I'm gonna do a question mark with, the, uh, with these angle brackets and name this comment ID. And then um, I'm gonna add my regular expression inside of the capture group. So what this should give us back is a match data object that has comment ID as one of the fields here. And then I can use that as like comment ID to pull out the actual number there. So um, this is sort of like messing around with, if you're curious about regular expressions in general, I would recommend checking out Rubular. Um, there's a bunch of stuff about regular expressions on here. They're not super fun. I would say generally avoid them, but for when you're working with emails, you will actually use regular expressions a surprising amount. And so, um, okay, so we're, we're grabbing out the comment ID and then we wanna use that to actually look up our comment. So if we run this again, so we can actually go back to our 
rail server will continue so that it finishes that request. We'll refresh the page. We see that it was delivered. We can say route again so that we can break in our um, mailbox by bug debugger again. And now we can say user, we can see the user, we can see comment and we see the comment and that's great. So now we can do, maybe we want to do, um, I guess what we want to do here is say like if, or like return if user.nil, return if comment.nil, and then we want to like actually create the comment. So recall that um, in the comments controller here, when we create the comment, we are expecting the content and the parent ID. And so what we want to do here is basically say like comment is equal to user.comments.new. And we want to pass in um, the content, which is going to be mail.decoded. So if we go back over to this mail gem here, there's a bunch of different um, methods that you can use, but one is decoded. That's the content, like the body content of the email. And then we also want to say um, parent ID. And that's going to match our parent comment ID. So this comment here is actually the parent comment. So maybe we rename this to parent. Um, and here we say parent.id um, or even just like this. Okay, so then we have um, built a comment if comment.save. Um, I guess maybe we can just use create bang here so that it will raise an exception. I don't know, there's, I think there's tools for dealing with um, if, you're, if, you, if you fail to save or whatever, but uh, let's just play around with this and see if this works for us. All right, so we're gonna go back over to our Rails conductor. We see that it was pending. Oh, we gotta continue our Rails log there. Okay, so delivered. So let's say route again, pending, and it crashed. Okay, so what's going on here? Um, uh, post must exist. Validation failed, post must exist. Um, huh. Oh, we have to pass in the post ID too? Comment, oh, that's right, that's totally right. Okay, so I forgot about that. So we have to pass in the post, which is parent.post. All right, let's route this thing again and see what we get. Hey, this looks positive. Okay, okay. Delivered, that's great. All right, now let's go take a look here at, uh, I guess, how do we figure out which post this is for? Um, okay, so um, post ID. Okay, maybe it was post 11, let's just see, post 11. Posts slash uh, 11 and test email body. Amazing. Okay, so let's let's actually this is this is getting a little messy and hard to find. So let's actually make a new post. Email testing testing create a post. Um, and if we log out and we log back in as another user, and that user goes to posts. Oh no, what was the ID? Post twelve. Um, okay, so this is the new post, right? We're logged in as a different user. And um, if we say this should email the author of the post and we say submit. Okay, great, that emailed the author of the post and we got the, this email from comment number 36. And um, so that's what we're gonna use to reply to. So we actually wanna go get, what is it? I guess it's Rails Action Mailbox inbound email. So we're gonna make a new email from comment 36, or to comment 36, from some other address. So who are we logged in as? We're logged in as, um, we, yeah, so this should come from cjavilla at gmail.com. And this is gonna be in reply to the author of the comment. So this, so this should show as a comment that is in reply to the first comment on that post. And I don't know, whatever whatever subject, we're not actually using the subject right now, so that's okay. 
deliver inbound email, processing, delivered. We head back over here, refresh the page. Wow, look at that. This should reply as a comment to the first post. So uh, at this point, the next steps are to actually deploy this out to, uh, out to production and connect it to a real email service provider. And um, right now, Action Mailbox has support for several. So this is like all the different email providers that you could use. Uh, I've, in the most recent email episode that we showed how to set this up for sending in production, we use SendGrid. So I think maybe uh, in a future episode, we will go through the process for actually configuring your Action Mailbox to uh, deliver email inbound from SendGrid. Thanks so much for watching. Really appreciate your time and attention. And hopefully this was uh, hopefully this was interesting and a little bit useful. And yeah, we'll look forward to uh, to chatting soon. <laughs>